Uh, our next speaker is um, Nelson de Sa, uh, who's from the Folia de Sao Paulo, who's, uh, which is the uh, one of the largest media platforms in Brazil. And uh, we've already heard from one Brazil uh, journalist, but we will now hear from, from Nelson, his perspective on challenges that the media confronts in Brazil and the wider region. Over to you. And, and Nelson is sitting in Taiwan. He is the uh, Asia correspondent of uh, Folio de Sao Paulo. Okay. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Okay. So uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as, uh, as we said, I'm the Asia correspondent for Folio here in, tai in Taipei. And I'm also a media columnist, have been for many years in Folio. So uh, if you don't mind, I prepared something. So I'll just read it. Uh, Sorry. As we see in almost every media market, the central challenges in Brazil are related to the search for a business model that may sustain independent and critical journalism, which is the one FOLA stands for. Uh, in our case, the solutions have included paywall, branded content, and funding from uh, <clears throat> foundations for specific coverages, solutions that are also uh, pursued by other media outlets around the world uh, with good results in, uh, for this case, allowing for the stability of the newsroom and uh, a journalism that keeps its distance from the recent governments in Brazil, first with uh, Bolsonaro on the right and now with Lula on the left. Uh, the power of governments in Brazil over the media is felt mainly through advertising funds. In the past four years, there was uh, some bias, for example, towards TV networks that, although with lower ratings, uh, received more funding than the leading, more critical one, uh, global. Uh, with Lula now, uh, over the last uh, six months, the situation has reversed. Uh, and on TV networks, and there's there was also a resumption of government advertising on the main newspapers, including Folia, which had been cut cut out by Bolsonaro in the last four years. Uh, at the moment, uh, attention is more focused, um, at least on our newsroom, on artificial intelligence. What we seek is to uh, intensify its practical use by journalists and the uh, transcription of uh, interviews and translation and also in some research. Um, the other focus on AI is to safeguard as much as possible the content of the newspaper. And after Brazilian media outlets were mentioned as having been uh, scrutinized by commercial AI training tools. So uh, this is uh, the aspect of AI that worries the most now. Uh, more than ethical standards or limits for the journalistic use of it, which seem to be relatively established after much debate. Uh, the challenges in this uh, relationship with the tech giants that are already uh, dominant in the in AI uh, mirrors another troubled relationship uh, with the search and social media giants, the so-called advertising duopoly. Google and Facebook, especially the former um, Google, have achieved strong reach and power in Brazil, as in other markets, with huge impact on the online um, audience of media outlets and also on the establishment of public policies for media and technology in Brazil. This is what I have prepared uh, as a contribution to the discussion. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nelson, for adding to what Paula uh, already told us. And um, hopefully we'll have time at the end to um, engage with some of the, some of the questions that you've posed. Uh, 